The Scarlet Monastery is one of four strongholds in the world belonging to the fanatical Scarlet Crusade, the others being the Scarlet Bastion within the ruins of Stratholm, the town of Hearthglen, and the town of Tyr's Hand. Located in the northeastern corner of the blighted Tearsfall Glades, the monastery was once a proud bastion of Lordaeron's priesthood, a center for learning and enlightenment. With the rise of the undead scourge during the Third War, the peaceful monastery was converted into a stronghold of the fanatical Scarlet Crusade. The Crusaders are intolerant of all non-human races, regardless of alliance or affiliation. They believe that any and all outsiders are potential carriers of the undead plague and must be destroyed. Reports indicate that adventurers who enter the monastery are forced to contend with Scarlet Commander Mulgrain, who commands a large garrison of fanatically devoted warriors. However, the monastery's true master is High Inquisitor Whitemane, a fearsome priestess who possesses the ability to resurrect fallen warriors to do battle in her name. The Scarlet Monastery is located in the northeastern Tearsfall Glades. It is composed of four dungeons, the Scarlet Monastery Graveyard, the Library, the Armory, and the Cathedral. The minimum level to enter is level 21, with the advised levels being 26 to 36 for the Graveyard, 29 to 39 for the Library, 32 to 42 for the Armory, and 35 to 45 for the Cathedral. The Graveyard has two bosses, Interrogator Vicious, who drops the Torturing Poker, and Blood Mage Thalnus, who drops the Orb of the Forgotten Seer. The Graveyard also has three rares, Asher the Sleepless, who drops the Blighted Leggings, Necronic Wand, and Ghost Shard Talisman, the Fallen Champion drops the Embalmed Shroud, Morbid Dawn, and Ebon Vice. And Iron Spine, who drops Iron Spine's Ribcage, Iron Spine's Eye, and Iron Spine's Fist. The Library has two bosses. Houndmaster Loxi drops Loxi's Training Stick. And Arcanist Doan drops the Hypnotic Blade and the Illusionary Rod. The Armory has only one boss, Herod, who drops Herod's Shoulder, Raging Berserker's Helm, Scarlet Leggings, and Ravager. The Cathedral has three bosses, High Inquisitor Fairbanks, Scarlet Commander Mograine, who drops Aegis of the Scarlet Commander, Scarlet Leggings, Gauntlets of Divinity, and Mograine's Might. And finally, High Inquisitor Whitemane, who drops Triune Amulet, Whitemane's Chapeau, and the Hand of Righteousness. The Scarlet Monastery has five quests available exclusively to Horde, these are Into the Scarlet Monastery, Vorel's Revenge, Hearts of Zeal, Compendium of the Fallen, and Test of Lore. The Alliance have only two quests available exclusively to them. These are In the Name of the Light and Mythology of the Titans. Finally, there's one last quest available exclusively to mage players. And this quest is Rituals of Power. Starting with the Horde, Vorel's Revenge starts with Vorel Senguts inside of the graveyard and ends with Monica Senguts located in Terran Mill of the Hillsbred Foothills. This quest requires you to kill Nancy Vicious, located on the shore of Lordmere Lake in the Alteric Mountains, and loot Vorel's Wedding Ring. Hearts of Zeal is the continuation of Going Going Guano from Razorfen Kral, my video for which will be linked above. 
This quest starts and ends with Master Apothecary Farinel in the Apothecarium of the Undercity. This quest requires you to loot 20 Hearts of Zeal from any Scarlet mobs both inside or outside the instances. Compendium of the Fallen starts and ends with Sage Truth Seeker in Thunder Bluff. This quest requires you to pick up the Compendium of the Fallen from inside the Scarlet Monastery Library. This quest unfortunately is not available to undead players. Test of Lore starts and ends with Parqual Fintalas in the Apothecarium of the Undercity. This quest simply requires you to pick up the beginnings of the undead threat from inside the Scarlet Monastery Library. This quest is part of a chain that begins with Test of Faith from Dorn Plainstalker, located in Thousand Needles. Moving on to the Alliance, Mythology of the Titans starts and ends with Librarian May Pale Dust, located in the Hall of Explorers of Ironforge. This quest requires you to pick up the Mythology of the Titans, located in the Scarlet Monastery Library. The final quests for each faction, Into the Scarlet Monastery for the Horde, and In the Name of the Light for the Alliance, both share the same objectives. Although In the Name of the Light is a part of a quest chain, beginning with the quest Brother Anton, provided by Brother Crowley in the Stormwind Cathedral. Into the Scarlet Monastery starts and ends with Verimothris in the Royal Quarter of the Undercity, and in the name of the Light starts and ends with Rayleigh the Devout in South Shore of the Hillsbred Foothills. These two quests require you to kill Houndsmaster Loxi located in the Scarlet Monastery Library, Herod, located in the Armory, Scarlet Commander Mograine, and High Inquisitor Whitemane, both located in the Scarlet Monastery Cathedral. And finally, the quest available exclusively to Mage players, Rituals of Power. This quest starts with Magus Turth, located in the Mirage Raceway of the Shimmering Flats, and ends with Tabitha, located in a house on the north of the Stone Mall Ruins in Dustwallow Marsh. This quest requires you to loot the Rituals of Power, located in the Scarlet Monastery Library. This quest is part of a quest chain that begins with Journey to the Marsh. For the Horde, Journey to the Marsh is provided by DNO in the Valley of Spirits in Orgrimmar, and for the Alliance, is provided by Jenna Cannon in the Portal Room in the Mage Quarter of Stormwind. And that's where we'll wrap up this quick look at the lore and the quests of the four instances of the Scarlet Monastery. Uh, as always, the information for the quests will be linked down in the description down below. Make sure if you enjoyed the video to hit the like button and subscribe for my next video, which will be on Razorfin Downs. I really appreciate all the support I've been receiving recently. Until next time, thank you all very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.